Hey guys, Ben Place here. Welcome to episode two of uh, the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I just hit the circle button again, trying to click B. Um, so yeah, in the last episode, we um, got our first piece of heart. Which is nice. Um, we also got a Deku flower from a Deku scrub because we got the Moon's Tear, which he wanted real bad, and he gave us his land title deed. Unfortunately, we gave the land title deed to a disembodied hand to use as toilet paper, thus giving us a piece of heart. I love the side quests in this game, they're so silly sometimes. But anywho, I'm sure it's been bothering you guys for a while, why there's a heart piece on top of the clock tower. And, um, you really can't get up there, at least not as a Deku Scrub, with a jump, because Deku Scrubs can't jump. And screw you too, dog. Okay. What's the Skull Kid doing all the way up there? Well, whatever, but aren't you at least interested in that thing that fell from the moon? Tattle? Are you drunk or something? We already handed it to this Deku Scrub. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We've already seen what it's for. And please tell me I can get over here in time. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year, at midnight on the eve of the carnival. And we got a piece of heart. Collect two more to extend your life energy. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Okay, I'm at a loss as to what to do, actually. Okay, well, first of all, I'll mention the music is more frantic now. It's fluff time. What do you mean, fluff time? Oh, right. Just show off all the stuff. Okay, so if we ring the bell over here, there's this kid that comes out, he looks around, but he runs away when we try to talk to him, so... Right. So really, there's nothing we can do until the third night, actually. But I can still show some stuff, I suppose. Maybe I'll check out the milk bar. Maybe I'll actually listen to what the Scarecrow has to shit has to say? Shay. Shay. Has to say. <laughs> I went to the wrong clock town entrance again. Meant to go to I also always get east and west confused. Without fail. Oh, shoot. Okay. If I had gone there before 8 o'clock, I think I would have been able to... Or before 9, it looks like. I would have been able to see inside, I think. This is a place for studying the way of the sword. It is no place for children to play. Yeah, this guy won't have... This guy just won't have it if you come here as a Deku Scrub. A lot of um, people won't have it if you come as a Deku Scrub. You can't use any of them, but feel free to look it out around. Because he has no arms. Look, look at those tiny arms. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I can't show this building yet. Curiosity Shop, open at 10 p.m. We'll have to keep that in mind. Welcome, what are you, a Deku Scrubs kid? You can't play here. If you want something, bring one of your parents. Yo, hey baby, I'm a style and scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. We we've already talked to him. I don't want to dance till night. I do want to hear about... Oh yeah, now listen up. If you play that strange song backward, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But I'm sure I'd like any song written by you better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. I, I don't have any way to play a song, but if we get a way to play a song, we'll have to remember about the one that can manipulate the flow of time. So yeah, I'm gonna dance till night with him, just so that we can um, show the curiosity shop. Night of the second day, 36 hours remain. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. No. You just told me. You have a terrible memory, buddy. Okay, may as well show this too. Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing! So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So what'll it be? Deposit rupees. Alright, so... How much? How much? May as well put all 12 of our rupees in there. Seriously, that's a lot! A lot, a lot! So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks, and it's not gonna hurt. There, now I'll know you when I see you. Alright, little guy, now I've got a total of 12 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you saved up a bunch. I don't want to say it's a plot hole per se, but I have a little problem with that ink stamp. <laughs> oh shoot, right, it's only 6pm. Okay, well, in that case... I want to see if this is available. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Don't bother us. Yeah, we know that already. Oh, I should show this too. Um, I forgot to mention this, but there's an owl statue right here, and if you check it, it says, Ye who hold the sacred sword, leave proof of our encounter. Strange. Also, my mouse cursor's in the video. Sorry about that. Discord doesn't capture the mouse cursor, but XSplit does. That's why you didn't notice. Yeah, my friend in, in Discord said he didn't notice the mouse cursor. But for some reason, XSplit captures the mouse cursor and Discord does not, so... Oh! Yeah, I want to show something else, too. Open from 10 p.m. Oh, there's two places to check out at 10. Okay.
All right, it's 10 p.m., finally. Welcome, please show proof of membership. Wah. Okay. I do, Twilight. I do have this chat open. It's just, uh, I'm not necessarily paying attention. Um. Oh, crap. Pika, what was the other spot that opened at 10 that I wanted to check? Oh, yeah. Curiosity Shop. That's right. You didn't distract me. I actually, um, completely forgot where the shop was anyway. Or rather, that I wanted to go to it. This guy looks familiar. Shouldn't you be with your parents? Go on, get. Oh, well, we can't do anything in here, but I still wanted to show it. And, um... I feel like I really am running out of things to show in this first three days, so... Let's just dance till night. Ooh, a spider. Or, I mean, dance till dawn, rather. Did I get the town dead? <laughs> I believe you mean town deed, and yes, I did. Fuck, there's a spider. Also, I swore, I'm gonna have to cut that out. Yeah, I think I... I think there's only two... Correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's only two heart pieces you can get in this first cycle. I did not have enough time for the Deku minigame. I'll show that next time. The way I play, I never I never even attempt to do the Deku minigame on the first cycle. It's just not enough time to do it. And show the mayor and show and uh, get all the kids. So, there's too much. Alright, so, it's getting scary outside, and I still can't walk through a freaking door. So, I'm going to, once again, attempt to get an item that I failed multiple times to get in my failed recording of this. Oh! Interesting. Pog, I got up here. I just had to press A at the exact right time. You got a purple rupee. It's worth 50 rupees. Your face is beaming. Also, I completely neglected to show it, but that moon is looking a lot look closer now, isn't it? I didn't show it on the second day, but on the third day, that is very close, and it is scary. And now the ground is shaking. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want anything to do with this. Uh uh. Not having any of it. It's just deposit our fifty rupees. There we go, 50 rupees, and we've got a total of 62, we just need 7 more. And then we'll have the perfect amount. <laughs> okay, grow up. Uh, 
Uh, I have nothing to do for the next three um, in-game hours. Luckily, each hour is slightly less than a minute. It's actually probably about 30 seconds at the current speed. So, um, we don't have to wait long. I'm just gonna... I don't even know if I'm gonna cut this. I'm just gonna run around in a circle. We. We. Oh, I should talk to Muto. Hey, Deku Kid, you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower up to the clock tower entrance up there? Sorry, my apprentice is panicked and run ran away. This is all we get for a festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I apologize for all this. I wish you could scare that moon away. You realize you're going to die here, right? Okay. That's another thing I love about this game. It's so dark. Like, everyone's going to die in three days. Okay, and I'm just going to wait up here for the clock tower to open. There we go. Alright, up the stairs we go. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. There's like five or six doors and they turn into stairs. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Sis! Ah, Tail, we've been looking for you two. <clears throat> hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there. Bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. Oh, there's something I totally forgot to show. I couldn't do anything about it, but there was something I totally forgot to show. I'll show it in the next cycle. It's fine. I couldn't actually do anything about it anyway, so I may as well just show it when I can actually do something. Alright, look how easy this is. They give us five minutes, which is more than we had before, because that timer was originally going down way faster than five minutes, and yet the moon is falling faster now. And all you have to do is hit him with a snot bubble, and he drops the ocarina. And you got the ocarina of time back. Okay. In a second, I can go on a rant about ocarina of time. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? I'm not even going to try to voice every character. They're just going to have my voice. It's fine. Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. 
Until that day comes, please, take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. So we've learned the Song of Time, which is actually very powerful in this game, which begs the question, why was the only function of the Song of Time in the game that was named after the Ocarina of Time, which is very underwhelming by the way. Like the Ocarina of Time itself is barely used at all except one time. No shut up though. I love Ocarina of Time to death, I just think that, like, it didn't deserve to be named after the Ocarina of Time. It's still, it's still my favorite, it's my second favorite Zelda game. My first is this one. Oh, it's hard to be sarcastic. Oh, you were being sarcastic. Okay. I mean, so he just, yeah, he just, um, they give you no time to do anything. The Song of Time did drastically change between games. Exactly. It was for moving blocks. Huh? When did you get that instrument? Time to talk about saving the game. Oh yeah, okay. Not quite yet. There's two ways to save this game. One of which is basically a quick save feature. And then the proper way to save, which I dislike, but whatever, um, is playing the Song of Time and returning the first day. But we'll get into that in just a minute. What just happened? Everything has... ...started over. That was quite the dramatic pause, Tattle. I don't think you needed to be that dramatic. I'm just saying. <laughs> what are you, anyway? That song you played. That instrument. That instrument! Wait, that's it, your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget, or what? Okay. Well, I didn't forget, I'll tell you that much. Were you able to recover your precious item from that hip? Oh, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it! Then listen to me. Please play this song that I am about to perform, and remember it well. I'm sorry, but I remember the 3DS version better. X, Y, R, X, Y, R! <laughs> okay, left, right, down. That's not terribly hard. It's actually the reverse of Saria's song from Ocarina of Time. And just reversing the notes of that and playing them at a slight in a slightly different tempo makes it so much creepier sounding.
it goes from bum 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 to bum 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 bum. And now we're back to normal. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I'm sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you were just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. You got the Deku mask. Press start and set it to blah. Wear the mask with blah to inhabit the body of the Deku. Press blah again to return normal. <laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me that which you promised me. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back. Didn't you? What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. We'll all fall into despair. <laughs> the mask that was stolen from me. This called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in its shadow forever, pretending it, preventing its misuse. But now the tribe from the Legendus has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Well, with those words of encouragement, I just want to end things off here by showing the save feature that I talked about earlier. That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direct. We'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Okay, we can do that. But I'm gonna end off the episode after doing this. Okay. You can save your progress and quit here. When you reselect your file, my face will appear by your file name. This indicates that the next time you reopen your file, you'll resume playing at this very place and time with your current status. Warning, if you reopen this owl file, then reset without saving at an owl statue, you'll, you'll lose the progress you've saved here. The next time you open the file, you'll restart at day one with the status you had when you last saved using the Song of Time. Save your progress up to this point and quit playing? Well, I am going to do that now. Yes. But... So I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, um, I'm going to do one more daytime cycle, or one more three-day cycle, um, 
cleaning up we, what we can do in Clock Town now that we're a human. And I'm going to attempt the Deku Scrub minigame that I mentioned earlier. I don't think it'll go well, but we'll see. But yeah, now that we're a human again, I'm going to end off things here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you really liked it, make sure to leave a like. And if you really loved it, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.